name is Mitchell Hora. I'm a seventh generation farmer I'm out here on this farm. This is Washington County, Iowa. We're down in Southeast Iowa. This is actually the farm where I grew up and I've been farming here with my parents my whole life. The Horas have been farming here for just shy of 150 years. We've now been using cover crops for the last four years and have been completely no-till for about seven, eight years across the whole farm. My name is Cody Smith. I'm a policy associate at the Center for Rural Affairs. We work with cover crops to build resiliency on farms. A cover crop is a tool that's utilized while we're not growing our cash crop. After we harvest in the fall, we're going back out to that field and planting cereal rye, winter wheat, or other species, other crops. And we're targeting crops that don't die over the winter. And that's the whole point of a cover crop is to keep that soil covered, keep a living root, and keep feeding those microbes in our soil for those periods throughout the year where we are not farming corn and soybeans. As you look at the Hora family, for example, what they've done is adopt cover crops in a way that allows them to double crop, it allows them to intercrop, um, so planting alongside a growing crop already. That is allowing them to uh, reduce some of their input costs. And on this farm here behind me, we've been able to reduce our synthetic fertilizer inputs by about 50% and still maintain the yield just because the soil is functioning better. So we started using cover crops four years ago and we've seen huge impact in our soil in a really short amount of time, which we were not expecting at all. But what we're seeing is that we're improving our soil structure, which is awesome to see. You can literally see the, that soil particle coming together and holding itself up better versus soil that doesn't have structure. It's all been destroyed via tillage for the most part. When you have more rain, and you have a cover crop on your field, it soaks up that water. So if you invest in cover crops, you're building resiliency through the fact that you're retaining the water on your field for when you have a drought. In the month of May, we averaged about 15 inches of rain this year in the month of May. But for our soil, we were able to soak in all of that water. In the month of July, we had a half an inch of rain. But since we have the structure, we have the soil health and the carbon in our soil to hold onto that water, we still had moisture in our soil to get us through July when it was super dry. When everybody else's crop around here was really rolling up and looked really sickly, ours was still doing just fine. And now we're seeing that translated to yield. That, that We don't want that crop to be shut down. We want it to be happy all the time. That's what we always say. We want happy corn. <laughs>